cannot hope you guys doing good today i'm going to talk about how to transfer a sql server database without data okay so uh, before starting the session whoever newly joined on channel please like to subscribe and don't forget to share please uh, you know uh, pass to the others also please visit the channel playlist sql server dba you can get more benefit i have covered couple of you know uh, interview questions also which can help you in a real time scenario okay so let me connect my ssms and then we'll discuss how to do that so let me describe a bit scenario here sometimes we need a request you know uh, you need to create a database production database but without any data on a development to do the testing and all so basically developer needs to you know production database table structure and all to development server to to do their testing okay so how to achieve that goal so let's assume here the lab 01 and lab 02 so lab 01 is a production and lab 02 is your development instance okay so database tech 02 which we want to create on a lab 02 which is development but without any data so how to do that it's a pretty much simple through the wizard you can go to right click database task and then you need to generate a script so through the script wizard we can generate a script you know by clicking the next it will take you now here we have option to skip the entire database or any specific table which you want to so sometimes you know not required to all tables couple of specific table which they want to you know uh, take the uh, table structure on our development so you can choose by clicking that views any store position so i'll write away right now i'm going with skip to entire database okay so ne click on the next here you can save the file script file you can give the specific location i'm going with the default where you want to save it you can give the location the major thing is here you know uh, click on advance here you need to change one parameter to achieve this goal so here we can see the types of data to a script so here we have a three option data only schema and data and schema only okay so you need to go with schema only in this scenario so click on schema only and then click okay so what it will do it will take the only schema not data and it will create a script so click on a next this is the summary tab you can go with this summary and then click next okay so it will take couple of second to create a uh, script and uh, where you given the location it will save to that location so hopefully it will complete uh, soon let's see as soon as it started uh, you know then we can start it started now you can see that and it's completed also okay so let me see all are success okay so you can save the reports or by clicking finish you can finish it so where it saved actually go to that location and from there you can right click and open okay here is the script which you saved which you created just now now you can see create database here if you want to keep a database name production database you can go with that if you want to change any specific database you can change it here in a script okay now second thing is if you obviously you are going to install on a different server so for that case not an issue but here in same uh, server both the instance is running on a same machine okay so directory is same so i am going to change uh, otherwise it will throw the error okay in that case in your in the live environment no need to change because you are going to execute on different machine so what you need to do take the script and copy the script to the target development server and there you can execute it okay so i have changed and the second thing also here it's connected the window query window is lab 02 so i'm going to change it the connection lab 02 okay because i need to create a database on a lab 02 i'm treating this lab 02 as a development okay if you can see here lab 02 no, i don't think so any database yeah now we can execute this script by clicking the execute script it will execute the script okay it will take couple of second to do the execution okay yeah it's completed but i can see uh, one one view having the some problem okay so we can ignore it here because it's a testing right so might be there is a problem in a view particularly but let's see whether database is created or not so if you can see here and refresh the database instance you can see the tech 02 is created if you go and see the table 
okay let's execute one table top to try to select now this is the goal actually so this want actually uh, uh, without data i am getting the table structure for database tech 02 okay let me try to execute couple of more table if you can see here only the table structure without any data okay so requirement is that only but now the major thing is you need to verify make sure when you do this activity what i am trying to say let me show you so you need to verify the table counts and all okay so for that you can try with this select select go with count okay from information schema okay dot tables so uh, try and go to execute on a database tech 02 here you can see instance 1 lab 02 91 table okay same you can check it by changing the connection this thing actually need to do very carefully well, any any database refresh also if you are doing you know need to do this activity to matching the table count and all okay if you can see 91 so we are good here so total 91 table whatever the table structure and all on a production we have transferred to developer uh, development okay without any data okay as i executed uh, we don't have any data right let me try to it's getting a stuck Mm -hmm. management studio not working anyway we have already tried right if you select yeah you can see that uh, no data right so this is the goal actually so through this way you can achieve it use the query windows and uh, you know generate a script to do this activity well that's it for today guys hopefully we'll meet soon in another video till then bye bye thank you and keep subscribe my channel thank you